Hi guys, I wanted to give you a little look at the new male face mold or one of the new male face molds that I've got available. So this first one is the Johnny mold and you will notice on the pack there's a packet, there's a picture of the sunglasses. They are not included in the pack guys, so I just wanted to make that clear. It's just the face mold in this one. So this is what it looks like. It's a slightly oval shaped mold for this one. And I'm gonna use Serratino paste. Now you can see it's quite crumbly, quite hard at first, especially the brown one. If it's like this, guys, don't worry, that's usually what it's like. It's just a bit cold. It just needs kneading together. If it's still too cold, stick it in the microwave for five seconds just to soften it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go for like the pale colored one with the brown one to get my skin tone. And what I want to do first really is just dust the mold with cornflour. So give it a really good dust. Otherwise, you might find the paste gets stuck inside. Now, I would advise using modeling paste instead of fondant because fondant's not very firm. And within the head, you're gonna use about 19 to 20 grams of paste for this one. So this is the one that's called Johnny. It was named after Johnny Bravo. So I'm gonna roll it roughly into the shape of the head. Now, if you want the head to be rounded at the back, guys, put more paste in than what I have done. For this one, I'm not too worried about it being flat. I apologize, I knocked the camera a lot when I was doing this video. Just really push it in firmly because it's important that the paste goes into the nose area. And if you don't press it in hard enough, it won't go in that mouth and nose area. Now, it looks like I'm taking it out straight away. I promise you I'm not. I have left this to firm up. So it's pretty cold where I am at the moment. So it just was hard pretty fast. It's not fully set, but it had hardened. You can put it in the fridge or freezer. Uh, for 10 minutes to let it harden as well guys i got it out by putting a little stick in the back and pulling outwards now this one doesn't have eyes so you can put eyes in yourself and i'm just using the bottom end of a dresden tool because it's kind of slightly semicircularly shaped you can also also use like the easy eyes but you might find that they're just a, the normal sized ones are just a little bit too big but these smaller extra extra small sized eyes do fit so i'll just show you on a on another version of him so can you see they just fit into there to create little eyes and it's difficult to see on the on this pale face or you can put your own in you'll also see me putting eyes in in one of the female face mold videos as well so it's worth having a little look at that too now the mold doesn't come with ears on guys because it made it harder to get the head out of the mold so you can add ears now if you don't want his jawline as far back just nip it in a little bit just there and then what you're going to do is just put an oval shape just along that line you've made for the jawline and if you don't want to put that line on you don't have to that's fine just try and make sure the ears don't come higher up than the eyes themselves otherwise they sit a little bit too high up on the head and i'm pressing them in the middle just with something a little bit rounded so dresden tool will do the job nicely you could even use the bottom end of a paintbrush handle now i'm going to fill the eyes with white so I've just rolled a small ball of white modeling paste. I've cut it in half. I'm going to push that in. Now it might not fit at first. So the amount of paste you put in the eyes is going to depend on how deep you press the eye hole or how large, how wide you made the eye hole. I tend to usually go for smaller eyes on the male faces that I make compared to the female ones. They go a bit bigger on the female faces. But again, it's just personal preference, guys. So go with what you like the look of the best. So for some eyebrows, we're going to go for black eyebrows on this one. Just gonna roll a little piece that's got point on each end. I'm gonna cut it in half. So these are gonna be some pretty big, hefty brows. Again, you don't have to have them like this. You can go thinner. You could paint them on if you want, or you could draw them on with edible pen. I'm just gonna texture them just a little bit. But yeah, big and bold on this one, I think. Suits him well. Okay, so you can see his eyebrows. You can see I've got a slight line running down his face that's where I had a crease in the paste when I put it in the mold and I hadn't realized so just watch out for that make sure your paste is nice and smooth when you put it into the mold so I'm just giving him a little bit of color to the face just by using a little bit of pink edible powder I'm using my color palettes here but you know you can use loose dusts I'm gonna go for like the dark charcoal color to give him a five o'clock shadow so he looks like he's got a little bit of stubble on there and then we're just gonna color in the eyes with a black pen now they're only small, so I'm not gonna do too much detailing within the eyes on this one. If they were bigger, I could go for like a different color iris to pupil. But I think for this one, I like it just with the plain black in there like that. If you find that cornflour gets stuck to the face when you pull it out of the mold, because obviously we've dusted it, just use a dry, clean brush and just rub that over it and the cornflour should come off. Okay, so that was the Johnny mold. 
there are different molds as well, guys. So this next mold I'm going to show you is, is called Brad. I called this one Brad after Brad Pitt. Now I've got two of the Brad molds. So it's a slightly different shaped face. One is slightly larger, one is slightly smaller. So if you are buying these from me, just make sure you select the size that you want. But I also wanted to show you that I've got another one called Adam as well. And I've done each one slightly differently at the back so that you can see there's different ways to remove it from the mold and it doesn't have to have a flat head at the back. Some of them just a little bit rounded at the back. Don't worry if there's a crack at the back, if you're gonna put hair on. You can also use the extra paste at the back of the head to pull it out of the mold with. And then you can just cut off that bit that you've had hold of. So that's one of the Brad molds, is that one? You can also still have it a little bit rounded at the back and use a stick to pull it out. Again, make sure they're pretty firm. So they're the two sizes, guys, as well. I know there's not a big difference between them, but there is a bit of difference. Okay, and this one is the, mold, the face mold called Adam. Now, they are all slightly different shapes, but also, guys, the Adam one has got eye marks in already for you, and the other ones don't. So Adam is ideal if you don't like putting the eyes on yourself. I mean, you still have to draw them, but it gives you the outline. And then the Johnny and the Brad one, they don't have eyes. So you can use like the little mini Sylvia Mancini ones or create your own. So different amounts of paste in each one. So Johnny is about 20 grams. Brad, about 17 grams in the large one, 14 grams in the small one. And for the Adam mold, about 15 grams. I'd love to see what you guys create using these molds. And don't forget, I have other molds available as well as child, baby, female. So do have a little look through those videos as well. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.